Hey friends, today is going to be my TBR for the Summer Scare Readathon. <laughs> The Summer Scare Readathon is a readathon that I'm hosting for the week of June 21st through the 27th where we read spooky books because who doesn't love spooky books in the middle of the summer? I particularly will be reading a lot of mid-grade spooky. Today's my TBR. The announcement video is linked down below in the description box if you'd like to check that out. If not, it's okay. You're probably going to get all the information here too. Also, I don't know. Let's move on. The first couple of books will be in this sweep series. Uh, by Kate Tiernan. I will be reading Spellbound for the prompt of Witches and The Calling, which is the first book in this particular bind up for Orange on the Cover for obvious reasons. <laughs> so that's two stories and two prompts down. This series I've been reading through very slowly. It follows Morgan who finds out I think sometime after her 16th or 17th birthday that she is a witch. She joins this coven. There's some dark people in the coven. Some bad things happen. Um, she learns about her magic and she learns that she's adopted. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on in this series. I think I'm on book five of 15. So I have a lot more to go. <laughs> For the prompt of reading a book with blood on the cover, I will be reading Blood Witch by Susan Dennard because not only does it have the word blood on the cover, it also has a blood witch on the cover. I am reading these for the readathon, The Witch Lands Along, I do believe it is called, uh, that J.D. Ray Reads is doing for the lead up to the new Witch Lands book that comes out later in June um, that I will probably not get to until July, but rereading Blood Witch for that. This series follows Safi and Iz and Merrick and Aedwan who are four witches in the witch lands and they have powers. There's a whole lot of like adventure and travel and battles and pirating and a lot of societal issues and just a lot of everything and I really enjoy this series. The next three prompts will be covered by three different books from the Sarah Normal series by Phoebe Rivers, who is actually not a real person. It's a bunch of different mid-grade authors. Um, so I'll be reading book two, which is Haunted Mansion, and that will be for the prompt of a book under 200 pages. And then the third book, which is Mich Mischief Night, which is the prompt of a mid-grade. And then the fourth book, which is Spirits of the Season, which will be for a spooky word because it has spirit in the title. This particular series follow, follows Sarah, who I believe is like 13 or 14 in the first book. Um, she does age throughout the series. She is able to see ghosts. She's never really had any interactions with them, but she can see them. And at the very beginning of the series, her and her father are moving from the West Coast to the East Coast. And it turns out the East Coast is much more highly populated by ghosts than the West. And not only are there more prominent ghosts there, they're actually interacting with her and trying to either scare her or warn her, warn her of things that are coming. Um, I really enjoy mid-grade spooky. I really enjoyed the first book. Excited to get to some more of them. For the prompt of reading by a BIPOC author, I will be reading Vampires Never Get Old, which is an anthology of books about vampires, short stories about vampires, uh, by a slew of different authors. It includes authors such as Samir Ahmed, Danielle Clayton, Zoretta Cordova, Natalie C. Parker, Tessa Gratton, Heidi Heilig, Julie Murphy, Mark Oshiro, Rebecca Roanhorse, Laura Ruby, V.E. Schwab, and Kayla Whaley. So not all, but some of those authors are BIPOC authors. And I really want to read it, so we're making it work. For a horror thriller, we're going with Horrid by Katrina Leno. This book follows a girl who, once again, moves across the country to her mother's old home. Um, it's a rundown kind of place, and there's a room that's locked, and there's something creepy going on in that room. That's really all I know. The final prompt, which is for a queer MC, will be filled by Beyond the Ruby Veil by Mara Fitzgerald. This book follows Emanuela, who is gay and also being married off to her childhood best friend, who is a male, who is also gay. And she doesn't really care that they're not really in love. She just wants the power that she gets with being married to the future prince. 
the current prince and future king. That would make more sense. Uh, the world that they live in, the only way that they're given fresh water for their community is because there is this creature who basically takes a human as a blood sacrifice randomly. They are marked and it turns out that Emanuela has this mark and she's been hiding it for a really long time. The creature turns up on their wedding day and exposes her and in her trying to escape from the creature she inadvertently kills her so her and her now future husband slash best friend have to go to <laughs> through the ruby veil that surrounds their community in order to go outside of it in order to find water to help their people um, so that they don't thirst to death and that's all I know. So these are the books that I plan to read during the summer scare readathon. Let me know in the comments below if you will be joining me during the readathon and what spooky books you'll be reading. If you have a TBR video, feel free to share. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!